Behold, if you dare, the Israeli Death Stalker Scorpion. Its sting is excruciating. Its venom can kill. Not much here to love, unless you're Dr. Jim Olson. This sounds terrifying. It's actually beautiful. Beautiful because the Death Stalker's venom may revolutionize how cancer surgery is done. Dr. Olson is a brain cancer physician and researcher at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Center in Seattle, Washington. We were inspired by a 16-year-old girl who had a brain tumor. After 12 hours of surgery, the surgeons left behind a big piece. And we decided that day to find a way to make the cancer light up so that surgeons could see it while they're operating. The key is the scorpion venom, synthetically reproduced minus the poison. When injected into a patient's bloodstream, it sticks to cancer cells, but not to normal cells. Combine that sticky molecule with fluorescent dye, and you've got what Olson calls tumor paint. What problem does tumor paint solve? Sometimes it's really hard for a surgeon to tell what is cancer and what is normal. And in the brain, you can't take out a big chunk of normal just to make sure you got the cancer. And tumor paint distinguishes clearly the difference between brain cancer and normal brain in all of our experiments that we've done so far. Check out this image of a cancerous tumor. Tell me, did they get enough margin here? I, I couldn't where, even tell where, you where where's the, the tumor. Where is the tumor there? Well, but inject tumor paint problem. and there's no mistaking it. The tumor lights up. This is definitive. I can see why you're excited about this. I'm thrilled about this. You're sort of turning nature upside down, right? That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Sounds a lot like science fiction, but Olson says it could be an FDA-approved reality as soon as 2019. Mm -hmm. I think this will potentially be the biggest improvement in cancer surgery maybe in 50 years. God bless the Israeli death stalker scorpion, exactly, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, and God bless our patients because, you know, they're the ones that motivate us to do this.